Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Fantasy Forever Revisions. So, oop, okay. Uh, we need to heal a bit, hold on. You know, I just thought of something. There's a heal spot right there, but there's also an inn right over here. Why would you ever use the inn and with that right there? Huh. You know, what I've seen some games do- can I go down here, by the way? Ah, uh, this is important grin, but... No, okay. What I've seen some games do, um, they, like, make it so, like, when you rest at an inn, it gives you, like, a well-rested status for, like, a few battles. That, like, gives you, like, a 5% bonus or something. I don't know. Like, when you have a way to heal your party so easily, um, oh, we gotta do this area again. Um, it's nice to have a little bit of a way to, um, oh. it's nice to have a little bit of a way to, um, to, like, you know, like, give a little bit of an incentive for your player to actually use the inn. <coughs> yeah, excuse me, um. I think we have to head to the right. Down here, yep. Ready to go? Be sure to hold on tight. These little Okay. I kind of forgot where we need to go exactly. I think we need to go to like a like an island, like a fire island, to get the fire rune. Uh. You know, I need to ask too, is it really necessary to make the player um go all the way back? Like you start them in the first town again, and then they have to run all the way back to Port Grin, and then they have to like leave this area. I feel like it would be a lot better if you just, like, cut out the middleman, like, warp them to part, uh, Port Grin or something. Or, heck, even to, like, the town, um... Yeah, even, like, uh, like the castle town, I think, would be a bit more tolerable. Or, h here's something even better. What if this game had, like, a fast travel system? Because I feel like it could, um... Do I have to talk to you again? Well, well, if it isn't Sir Zack, you're beaming like a ray of sunshine. <laughs> it's great to see you again as well, Captain Ryan. So how did the trek in Dark Sands go? You could say I found what I was searching for, but I need another passage run. <laughs> Why not? I admittedly enjoy touring you around on your little quests. Excellent. Then we must set sail for Exotica Island as soon as possible. Not so fast. You! Shadow! Huh? Me? Didn't you think I'd recognize you? Um... Your silence may have caught me off guard earlier, but I know that face anywhere. You're Ren. Yes, that's me. When we first met, you were a cheerful lad with a head full of dreams. Is he like a, a heart marine or something, or past marine? Well, you see. And now you've returned to my presence these past few times with an empty heart and eyes glued to the floorboard. <sighs> you wouldn't understand. Bah! I understand plenty. You failed <laughs> on your first voyage, and you washed up at the very pier you departed from. Well, I... And rather than picking yourself back up and casting yourself back out there, you anchored yourself to your hometown and locked yourself away from the world. But, Captain... Boy, say, son, meet me on the deck. There's something I mean to show you. Okay. <laughs> Unusual plans. I suspect Licka had a hand to play with this. Son, draw your steel. Oh god, we gotta fight him? You seem convinced that you are no longer of importance to this world. To your friends. I'm telling you right now to show me some confidence. Show me that fire I saw years ago. You can do it, Ren. We believe in you, Ren. Take up arms, Ren. Woo! Woo! Ren's got faith in you. Benefit you to absorb some of that. If it's a fight you want, I'm ready. Haha! <laughs> now, son, come at me! Don't hold back! 
But okay, um, Ryan. <laughs> Thankfully, I know a super move for him, so I'm just gonna see if I can charge this up. What does he do though? He has fire magic. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, we can use this a couple times. Honestly, that does so much damage that I think it's worth wasting a turn to get TP back for it. Barrier. Oh! Should I wait for that to go away first? You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna try buffing. Your normal attack doesn't do that much. this a couple times. I gain T uh, MP back every turn thanks to something I have equipped to him, so yeah, this is possible. I gain more MP back than I... and I gain TP every time he attacks me, too. Okay, let's see how much this does now. A little under double damage. Wow, yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> That's a good way to take care of that guy. That was a fair enough boss, I guess. Way to go, Red. I knew you could do it. Good work, Red. Now, son, I want you to have this. Oh no, I couldn't. Take a laugh. They're the finest weapons for a sailor. Wild arms! <laughs> Bullet flurry. Wait. He he can use guns now? You know, I'm always surprised whenever I see these medieval games have guns suddenly. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I hope I can still use my my other skill. What did I learn? Bullet flurry. Or fury. Barrage of shots. We need to see what that does. Um Oh, I should have bought some Revi- hopefully there's another town- wait, 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 there's a- I can purchase stuff right over here. We'll do that. That's one better. <laughs> Oh, that increased more than just defense. I'm glad I did that. But why are you second? Once again, it um it shuffled the order. Um, yeah. I forgot it was the if it was the dev or not. But one of the comments mentioned that like one of the reasons why the game might do that is because of how um, cutscenes are coded. Because I think like in order to get like say who the main character of a cutscene is, one thing you can do is just straight up shuffle them around. Because when you notice, if you notice, um, when I put Ren in front, Ren appears at the front of the party. But that might break the immersion of some cutscenes if Ren is in the front, but it's like Zack talking. So what the dev might be doing is just reshuffling the the, uh, the character order to make sure Zack is in front. Is there a way to circumvent that? There probably are, I just can't think of any right now. I, I don't know, I, I'm glad I have an explanation for that though. <laughs> Okay, let's buy a bunch of them, I guess. I have more money than I'll probably ever need. Okay. Can I run from these enemies? Yes, I can. 
So I gotta find Exotica. I, I think... It's either to the... Oh, I can go down this way now. Okay. Is that it? That was easy. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> like I went back in time. Come on, you two. We have to make our way to the volcano. Drake says that's where the rune is. She's been awfully cheery lately. Yeah, Sarah. You've been smiling quite a bit. Oh, I'm just happy that my friends are back to normal. <laughs> well, when this is all over, we'll get you back to normal, too. I've never been normal. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a field trip, you know. <laughs> right. We should get going. Careful, the swamp otter here appears to be toxic. Your health will slowly deplete as you progress. Okay, we have that gimmick. Oh, it's when you walk anywhere. Okay. Although, wait. It does 10 damage per step. It's not hurting Zack as much because he has a regen on him. That is pretty dangerous. I hope this is like bound. Uh oh. Uh, Archer Patrix? Isn't that the bird that Archeops is based on? And we can't run from them, okay. Archeops is a weird Pokemon. <laughs> what if he's confirmed for Sword and Shield? I, might, I wouldn't mind using him. See what this does. If they can steal anything, and whatever. You can steal purification bottles, that's fine, I guess. Whoa, that does a lot. Am I underleveled for this? No, I did a bunch of grinding. I can't be underleveled. Oh, there's the water move. That lowers maximum health. Unless an enemy can heal itself, that's not really that big of a deal, honestly. Let me use Healing Surge. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> okay, well, at least they're... Actually, no, they're gonna go first next turn. Yeah, this has very slowly become one of those RPGs where hell at war speed is the most important stat. I'm gonna do this with just to get rid of... Okay, good. Ren is still faster. Good. Okay. Wow, those enemies are kind of tough. Um, I kind of wonder what level I'm supposed to be, because that did, like, way too much damage to Sarah, in my opinion. Like, you can't step off the path, either. <laughs> okay, more of these guys. Gilman. That hits all enemies. on enemies, honestly. Oh, wait, I gotta see if I can steal something. Acid? Does that poison? Yes, it does. Okay. 
antidote. Okay, that's pretty... well... <laughs> that, that, that's fair enough. Like... <laughs> Whoa, I should have used that from the very start. I think they did more than the water one. Oh, wow, they do drop antidotes. Okay. You can still step on it. I'm upset. New enemies. Dinosaur. Okay. I don't like this place so far. Do those guys resist magic? No, it doesn't look like it. I think it's super weak to water. Okay, that thing doing 700 damage makes more sense, honestly. a revive spell. Oh, he even shoots twice. Okay. I have 40 of them, so... steal anything from these guys, too. I didn't catch what that was. Oops. Ooh. My god, dude. Like... We still gotta save up and see what Bullet uh, Fury does. I'm just gonna have you attack him. There we go. And a pill, okay. Oh, that does a lot! Is that thing weak to wind? <clears throat> Earth spiders. <laughs> My god, and now she can, like, summon an earthquake to destroy everything. Crush your enemy and see them drivel before you. Okay. God, I love Trixie so much. <laughs> and we saw enemies do that. That just increases. It's kind of like a skill you have. I hear it's like Buckler. Only you can equip shields. Oh, I okay. I bought that a little early. Whatever. Ooh. Ah, oh, dang it.
Oh, they can drop refreshers too? Okay. Let's see how much this does. Wow, okay. Like, everyone is poison now, though. I couldn't have one more TP, really. God, I hate how fast these enemies are. Weekend. Don't... Okay. That's fine. Oh, okay, maybe that's not fine. What, that's a 700? Wow, when did his normal attack become so powerful? like it when, um, I want to see what, I always like it when, like, the attack animation changes, like, that's a nice attention to detail to me. I know we've encountered, like, weapons that have done that before, but, like, oh, wow, okay, that's really strong. Break. Replenish all. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a Mimic. Okay, it's one of these again. Why not? Let's see what, it, what kind of damage it does. that much normally? That's pretty good. I use that skill more often. <laughs> I can't get over how loud that is. <laughs> so, like, Blazing Fleur, uh, Fury does more damage overall. I say that as I forget that Mimics are immune to physical damage. <laughs> it's funny. Oh yeah, it does a lot of damage. Zero. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be that way about a game. We're gonna... <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna be a wise guy. I'm gonna... Respawns? That's supposed to go away after you defeat it. Huh, that's kind of weird. I won't fight you again, I guess. Anything down here? Oh my God. Okay, that looks a little weird, I'm gonna be honest. Can I run? Yes. 
Like, how that water... I, I don't think this is how you're supposed to use this tile set, personally. It's supposed to be like a like a poison swamp, clearly, but it just looks a little odd. I don't know. I might as well use that. I have plenty of, uh... I have plenty of mana pills. It's not like I'm running out. And I can run from that encounter. Okay. Things suddenly got a lot easier. Is the ending just, like, right up here? Oh, and I can run from that encounter. This is a Revival Maximus. Oh, okay, I was kind of waiting for an item like that. Is that it? Oh. <laughs> okay, I want you to listen carefully for a minute. I don't know why, but those first few notes I thought it was Megalovania for a second. <laughs> I think I've played Undertale in a while, like, I don't know why I thought that. I actually do really like this song. Oh, we got button puzzles, okay. Whoa. Oh, the, the redder floors deal damage to me, and we have more dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are slow, though, so yeah. Not surprised there. LX2? Oh, that means I got two of them. That, that's a weird way to parse that. I don't know. I kind of like the look of this area so far. Yeah, it doesn't look like that does too much more damage. Anti-paralysis pin? It's gonna take a while, guess what that does. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, I haven't really been paralyzed that often, though. So. What's this? You found the golden egg. Cast it into flames and ascend to the heavens. What? Is that a key item? The description. Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yes, a wooden bridge <laughs> in a volcano. Oh, I have to do that. Okay. Oh. Uh, cool! <laughs> Phoenix fight! <laughs> oh, let's see what we got here. And you are not susceptible to poison. You look like a fi- like a magic user. And you're slower than all of us, which I did not expect from a bird, but whatever. What is this gonna do? That's pretty good. Oh. Hmm.
300, 300, 300, about 1200. Okay, that's how much we have. I'm gonna keep using this, honestly. No reason not to. Can I steal anything from me? I haven't really been able to steal much from bosses in this game so far, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, cool. Nothing, okay. You know, honestly, half the fun of, like, having a steal mechanic in your game is making it so you, like, can steal from really cool enemies, like bosses. Because, like, finally, like, one Final Fantasy game of a steal skill, where, like, you're not outright encouraged. Burning hell! <laughs> right after I do 666 damage. Okay, that's a super move if I've ever seen one. Yeah, it, it just feels weird that, like, it doesn't really seem like there's much of a incentive to use it on too many types of enemies. Because, like, half the fun of Steel Seals is using it on everything, you know, because you never know what you're going to get. That's fine. Oh, and you're out of magic. Wait, wait, wait. I'd rather do flat damage and then have you heal with an item. Why did I do 900? That didn't go critical. Well, there we go. That was pretty easy. <laughs> I still might be a little over level, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there we go. We haven't used you in a while. I'll put you in place of. Uh. Why not? He's kind of broken a lot of fights, to be honest. Should do some uh, um, mana pills, too. What is... Oh, this looks important. Oh, this is the rune area. Okay. Oh, well, we did it. <laughs> Hell, courageous flame. We'll take it from here. Oh no! You've done an admirable job thus far, but your wolf... Wait, this is the area from that vision. Stand down. The draconist is far beyond your abilities. We'll see about that. Falcon Knights, take the draconist by force. Kill the rest. Ooh. Um. I just did, but... So we got four enemies. Um... Well, let's try this. That does, um, hit everything, so... Yeah, sure.
Uh, that'll do more damage overall. Oh, okay, they're pretty simple. Alright, you have a double strike. Fair enough. Oh, and they can heal the main boss and guard him too. Okay. I kind of like the this boss so far. This is cool. That might be enough to... What does this do? Increase strength of all comrades. Fair enough. What is that on you? You know, honestly, you know what I think a boss like this would really benefit from? The ability to revive his friends. Because now that I'm done with it, with his, with uh, his friends, like, this fight is just kind of... Like, it's, it's just kind of a single enemy fight now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool idea for a fight, though. Like, a, like an army guard or, like, an army captain that, like, summons friends that, like, heal him and buff him. Dead. Like fights like that are fun. <laughs> it's over, Luther. You're out of now. Not yet, Zach. You and I have a score to settle. Don't you remember this place? I haven't forgotten. This is where you and I crossed swords for the first time. Then let us finish it, Luther. Zach! I have to do this. It's between me and him. I understand. Go get him, Zach. Luther, draw your sword. To the death! Okay, um... Let's just use this. Oh, and it's the same enemy. doing more damage. Um Alright, so about four turns of this and he'll be done. We got this. All right, fair enough. At last, it's over. The volcano is erupting. God, are killing me? Hurry, everyone! Oh, we actually have to. Oh, we have a time limit. Um, okay. Oh god, okay, that- that shaking is, like, really disorienting. I can see that giving some people, like, visionary problems. Also, does it go down in the menu? No, it doesn't. And... Pulling up the menu stops the shaking? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with that- with that shaking effect. Oh, and there are enemies here. Oh, 
we have to get off the island island, okay. That seems really generous, though. I, I feel like you're not really meant to be able to run from everything. Is the battle theme just the, the volcano theme, like, really sped up? It certainly sounds like it. Oh, there you are. See a chest, I want it. For quite some time. And do you plan on informing the others? It will only worry them. They'll want to know. And so is the final room is to the north. We will make port shortly. I'll go and make preparations. Hold on, Sarah. Isn't there something you wish to tell them? Sarah? Is everything alright? I'm sorry. I really don't know how to explain this. Are you slowly losing your senses? <laughs> Wait, what? Isn't that the drag ring? Sarah? What's going on here? Don't I have that equipped on someone other than you? Don't I have that on the dog? <laughs> then why not get rid of it? Because... Because the ring was latched onto her flesh. What? Not only that, but it is slowly injecting a toxin into her bloodstream. Ever since you've been forced to wear it? Yes. You see, Marcus's ring is forcing Sarah's body to absorb room energy. When she absorbs the runes, she temporarily extinguishes the ring's toxin. As a counterpoint, the runes absorb her life force when used. So Sarah's body is slowly being destroyed and healed? I'm afraid so. Sarah must keep using the room, regardless of how draining they are if she is to be free of this poison. Is there anything we can do? Obtain the final room. Afterwards, we need to find a way to cancel out both the room and the room. We'll do whatever it takes. I'll tell Ryan to hasten the process. Oh, alright. You know, if you want to make it so, um... So, like, that actually does work, like, in gameplay, too. Um, you can make it so, like, room spells actually takes away her life as well. Because I know you can do that with a plug-in. Uh, that might be bad for balancing in this kind of game, though, because there are a lot of spells. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'll leave it. <laughs> do what you think would, would, would work better, I guess. Just an idea. No, I want to go back on the ship and get that, and get that. <laughs> eh, whatever. Well, there we are. Um, kind of at a loss of what to do now, but... Yeah, we'll figure something out later. Well, that was fun. I really like that dungeon. That was a pretty good volcano dungeon, so... <laughs> I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.